San Diego State Aztecs. Here we go. Here we go. Another coach I really like a lot. Head coach Rocky Long. I really like a lot. Look, seven and six last year wasn't great. Four and four in conference. They got six starters back on offense, five on defense. Number 39 most experienced team in the country, but that's good for number three in the Mountain West. Look, Rocky Long, 71 and 35 in eight years. Uh, but last year was incredibly disappointing after they had three straight 10 win seasons. Offense, switching to a bit of a spread attack. They've got the quarterback in the backfield now, but Long is adamant that this is still going to be a run first team. So, you know, they're, they're going to attack with their running backs. That's his plan, even if the quarterback is lined up in the backfield. Senior middle linebacker. Now, I, I am going to destroy this one. Kiava Tazino. He is the leader of this defense. They were number 21 in total D last year. This guy had 127 tackles in eight and a half sacks. They got a lot of talent, but they are light on experience. They started 7-2 and two last year before they lost four straight. The schedule this year, uh, they have got all of their toughest conference games at home. I think it makes a significant difference. I think they get back to their 10-win ways. I got them 10-2 and two this year. Ooh, I love this team. I like this team a lot. No, I don't have them that good. <laughs> <laughs> I've got them, I've got them eight and four. I've got them eight and four because I, I, there's a lot of other coaches I like in this conference. But uh, man, I would not be upset if they go ten and two. I've got them eight and zero oh in the conference. Oh, wow! I think this is the revenge tour. I think Rocky Long was pissed off after last year. I, I mean, I like him. Like, I'm a, oh, yeah. I'm a I'm a big. He's fan. an older. The only reason he has not gotten a a bigger job is oh, because yes. he's older. Because his age. That's it. Abs- absolutely. But uh, no question. I've got him losing at UCLA. I've got them losing at home in the last game of the year to BYU, uh, partly because that's one week after they have to go to Hawaii. But I think that they go 8-0. I think at that point, the BYU game, uh, they don't have to worry about that one because they're 8-0 and they're going to the Mountain West Championship game. Let me ask you this. They lose to UCLA. They beat BYU and they run the rest of the table. Are they the highest group of five team, you think? Yes. Because nobody else finishes undefeated, we don't think. Yes, I think they will be. Like, the schedule isn't, like, the most difficult. I was about to say, right? you don't get any schedule points. But but you will end up playing probably Boise State in the Mountain West Championship game. Oh, yeah, if they if they win that, that would be different. Yeah. That's right, because I'm not looking at that on the schedule. But, yeah, I mean, but that, you would that, have wins over Fresno. you have wins over Nevada. You have, I mean, uh, you know. Well, this is—I mean, li- listen—a a win at home over Utah State. Utah State. I was just about and to say then, those are three decent wins. Like, listen to the road schedule. This is this is just ridiculous. At New Mexico State, and so it, at you uh, at UCLA and at New Mexico State early, mm-hmm. but then their conference schedule is at Colorado State, at San Jose State, uh, at UNLV, and at Hawaii. They got Fresno, Nevada, uh, Wyoming, and Utah State all at home. I understand. I just don't know that you could just chalk up W's to all those. Just because you're playing them at home doesn't mean that you can win them all. I, I'd no, love I, to see I, it. I'm with you. I, I won't be upset if it happens. I, but I, I, I would absolutely love to see it. Come I, on. I think this team is – I think they're fantastic. I think they're mad about how things went last year. I'm all over them. 